Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tawny, and in today's video, I wanted to compare and contrast two really popular pants from Lululemon. They are very similar in style, both flared kind of pants, yoga pants basically, and I was wondering the similarities and differences between the two when I was trying to decide between which pair I wanted to get. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to decide, but before we get into that comparison, I do want to share this top that I'm wearing wearing right now. I was very kindly gifted by the brand Joju and this is a Florida based company. She makes UPF 50 plus clothing which is right up my alley. I'm not a huge sunscreen fan. I typically wear sun protective clothing when I go outside. I go on walks every morning and she really kindly gifted me this long sleeve shirt. What I love about this shirt is that it has the armholes. This is a must for me when I have long sleeve tops and want to be protected by the sun because the hands always show a signs of aging and I just love the length of the arms. This fabric is super silky and really, really lightweight, moisture wicking, all of that good stuff. So thank you Joju for the gift. This is not sponsored though. And I'm excited to see what different styles the brand comes out with in the future. I'll link their website down below, but without further ado, let's get into the review. All right, so the first pair of pants that I purchased were the Groove Pant. These are a flared pant with the Align legging material, that Nulu legging material. I just tucked this shirt underneath so that you could kind of see the high rise. And this yoga pant is a super high rise pant. So if I lift this up, it is completely covering my belly button. My belly button's about there. And it is super high rise, almost to my rib cage basically. I don't know that I love it this high rise, but if you do love really high rise pants or you have a long torso, this pant is gonna be a great, great option for you. Other than that, it's a very simple design. There are no pockets in this one. It has a pretty classic align seaming on the back and there is a pretty decent flare at the bottom. It starts just above the knee. This pair starts off with an inseam of 32 and a half inches, which is long on me. I did get them hemmed two inches. I'm kind of regretting that. I wish I only got them hemmed one inch because they are a little bit on the short side for me now. They're like ankle length and I was hoping them to be just a little bit longer. So keep that in mind. But other than that, I really love these pants. They're like $118, so not inexpensive, but they are so, so comfortable, just like the Align leggings, except you do have a little bit more breathability in the bottom part of your leg because of the flare. So I really love these. I'm pretty happy about the purchase, but I was interested in something that wasn't super high rise and didn't have quite as much of a flare. And that is where the mini flare pant comes into play. Okay, so this is the mini flare pant with the aligned fabric. However, I wanna point out that this is actually not the same fabric as the typical aligned leggings or that Nulu fabric. I didn't realize when I first purchased it that it has added lycra to it, which is like this more that swimsuity kind of material. It makes it a little bit thicker and a little bit more compressive, which is nice for working out, but I really wanted these to be a very comfortable lounge pant and they're just a little bit too tight in that way. But overall, I do think that they're very flattering on. They do have a narrower leg and the flare only starts after the knee at the very bottom. So it is a little bit less of a flare, a little bit tighter, a little bit more compressive. If that's what you're interested in, then you'll really like these. I also do really like how the rise is just a typical high rise. It's not quite as high as the others. Still covering my belly button, but we're just about at the belly button as opposed to a little bit higher in the rib cage area. So I like that about these. Other than that, they're very simple still, no pockets. Haven't taken the tag off because if I'm being completely honest, I don't see myself actually reaching for these pants because they are just a little bit more compressive and I was really looking for that Align Nulu fabric without any added lycra. I do think it's a little bit misleading, but they are very, very cute looking pants. These are in a size six, and I also wanna highlight that both of the pairs I got in a size six, 
The previous one, the Groove Pant, is much stretchier and more comfortable in a size six on my body. This one is definitely more compressive and I can absolutely feel that. And in the calf area and the knee area, I think if I were to wear this as a true lounge pant, I probably should have sized up to like an eight or maybe even a 10 just to make it that much more comfortable. This pair is also slightly different in the inseam length. It starts off at 32 inches as opposed to 32 and a half inches and it's pretty good on my legs, still a little bit long. I would probably hem it like a half an inch if I were to keep them, but like I said, probably not gonna keep them because I don't really need both of these pairs and I just don't see myself reaching for this pair because of that extra compressive fabric. But if you're someone who likes that extra compression and maybe does a little bit more high intensity workouts, I think that you're really, really going to love this pair. It's also the same price as the Groove Pants, so you're really not compromised on price by getting one over the other. Overall, I think they're both good options, but I do wish that Lululemon would come out with another pair that's kind of in between these two. I would love to see a high rise, not a super high rise, just a regular high rise, but with the aligned fabric, the pure aligned fabric that does not have the added lycra in it, and then maybe like in in between flare where it doesn't start off after the knee kind of starts off before the knee but doesn't go out too much like a bell bottom that i think would be my sweet spot kind of like a boot cut if you will i don't know if they're going to come out with that hopefully they will at some point but right now i'm pretty happy with the groove pant super comfortable i wear it every single week almost every day when i go out for my walks and once again don't forget to check out joju for upf protective clothing they are so comfortable and i might actually even end up cropping it because i love the way that this looks with the high-waisted stuff let me know what you guys think but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i hope to see you in my next one Bye.